welcome to the Jamestown Community Chorus's Monday Night at the Movies, a weekly presentation throughout the spring from local artists performing music for their neighbors. Tonight's selection features a duet from Gilbert and Sullivan's Yeoman of the Guard. Here's some background information from the Yeoman of the Guard website. The Yeoman of the Guard, or the Merry Man and His Maid, opened October 3rd, 1888 at the Savoy Theater and ran 423 performances. It is different from other Gilbert and Sullivan operas in that it ends with a broken-hearted main character and at least two reluctant engagements, rather than the usual plethora of happy marriages. However, Gilbert finds plenty of opportunity to introduce comedy into his libretto. The setting is the, uh, the Tower of London in the 16th century. The plot concerns Colonel Fairfax, a gentleman, soldier, and scientist who has been sentenced to death on a false charge of sorcery. To avoid leaving his estate to his accuser, a cousin, and with the help of the lieutenant of the tower, Fairfax secretly marries Elsie Maynard, a strolling singer. The bride agrees to be blindfolded during the ceremony and expects to be a well-paid widow within the hour. With the help of the Merrill family, Fairfax escapes, throwing the tower into confusion and the astonished Elsie and her companion, the jester Jack Point, who is in love with her, into despair. But Fairfax, disguised as Leonard Merrill, woos Elsie, and after a number of plot complications are worked out, she falls in love with Fairfax and leaves Jack Point brokenhearted. So a typical GNS operetta. Elsie and Jack Point sing I Have a Song to Sing O oh, as entertainment for the crowd at the Tower of London. The story goes that Gilbert provided Sullivan with the lyrics to the song, but Sullivan wasn't sure what to do with them. Gilbert allegedly sang the outline of the tune and phrasing to Sullivan, who was then able to write down the main ideas and write out a score. More modern audiences will remember that Peter, Paul, and Mary sang the song on their 1969 album, Peter, Paul, and Mummy. And now, please sit back and enjoy I Have a Song to Sing, O, oh, performed by Jeanette Gamache and Steve Murphy. <laughs> Thank you. 
Turn on her heels and trip.